Hello everyone, welcome back. We have bought a new iWatch AC model and it's 44 inch with a uh, green stripe. So we are going to open it and I'll show you today like how we can set it up and what's the different steps that we need to follow to set it up and how it, easy it is. Our little kid is very excited about it and let's go with the next steps. First thing first, let's set the band with the Apple, Apple Watch and turn it on. So what was in the box, the Apple Watch, a set of band and uh, the charging cable charging cable only was given and we have to have an adapter that support the charging cable so there is no included adapter with this pack fitting the band is easy steps so we'll just take it out and connect with the uh, watch and what we have noticed like as soon as we uh, connected those band it's turn it on so not sure because of we did some pressure or is because of uh, its uh, turn on just you can see like as soon as we done the setting like set the band in the both the sides is turn on automatically there's the two different types of band one that is we need to have like both the sides open you have to set it like this other one is like stretchable that you can fit in your um, arms and the stretchable have two size medium and small depending on your size you can choose so the Apple Watch is getting started and it's now to setting up the phone. So first starting, press setting up the language which I set up as English, then it's asked to set up the location. So I'll be choosing the location of my current location which is United Kingdom. I'm choosing that and it's getting started for the next steps. Which is pairing the device with the iPhone. So, so the phone is uh, have showing this image and I think it has a similar thing like we have to find a camera to scan it. But we have to find the iWatch app. But while we are searching the iWatch app, Suddenly we have seen like we just search the iWatch app uh, to find it but suddenly we see the phone is automatically giving that Apple watch notifications so this automatically come up we don't need to do anything because I think the phone has detected that there is a nearby Apple watch and it's automatically given options to just start setting that uh, Apple watch with this iPhone. I think this process what happening like Apple automatically installed the iWatch app and then start pairing so it asked me to just enable the notifications which I need to enable in my mobile and then start set up by myself or we can sometimes set up for a family member so this is for my iPhone, uh, sorry iWatch so I'm going to do this for myself so it asks me to just hold the camera on the image on the phone just for pairing purpose that's like I have to be closer because even if when I was a bit far it was not happening but as soon as I put uh, like move it to closer and did some tap on the image it's going to start pairing so you can see like I'm just moving it closer closer to the image that box and I've just tried different angles to make sure it's getting scanned but as as close as I have put it like you can see like there's a green bar come up and that indicating like it's uh, in the right place and now pairing started you can see both having the showing the same uh, image and it says set up Apple watch so we have different uh, themes to like uh, it just, it's just need to confirm like which arm you are wearing left or right so we'll be wearing in the left arm so select the left arm uh, this took few seconds so uh, once I sub uh, like it's after a few seconds it's pop up with some terms and conditions it's saying connecting your Apple watch and after that it's come with the terms and conditions which we all need to just agree by default we did that and there is options like you can share the analytics uh, with Apple or you can choose to do it later so initially I thought I'll share it but then I cancel it's personal choice you can share those for product improvement so Apple would be feeding some data from your iWatch uh, into the server and that would be used for analytics. So we have to start with the passcode because that passcode will be used in I, uh, iWatch sometime to operate. So you choose your own passcode and uh, then that will be used for your futures unlocking the phone or using for different purposes. So just setting that up for now. This passcode has to be done from the uh, like watch itself so that is done and after that we have to just confirm use this code so you can see like we are just doing the code now so after doing the code it's come back to the setup mode again so it's some text setup bold text and size you can just increase the text size in the watch and then share setting so that's mostly the next 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 like you have you can set up your personalized data and that can be done later so i choose to do it later because it will take more time so as apple watch tracks some activities and it can you can set up some goals like 120 calorie per day and there are a lot to work like uh you can set up that all this in the iphone don't worry you can do it at later st stage so i'm normally just going next 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 just to finishing the setup a bit quicker than normal uh because otherwise i have to uh, do all the right setups which i can do later 
so it will after a few uh, minutes like it says apple sync um, watch is syncing so that means my phone and like uh, watch is getting synced is to be time like probably around five to ten minutes time so um, sometimes it can be quicker so there is options given that while the syncing happening we can explore more about the apple watch like uh, what's the different features what's new all those features you can explore so that's a good thing like while it's setting up you can explore about the apple watch you can see it's getting closer and closer it says like device added to your account yes it's okay so i'm very close looks like it's only little bit left to finish and then i would be like think done i'm assuming nothing much to do but let's see we'll find out in a few seconds time so it's very close and it's done after completing this part it's saying hello uh, and that means it's first it say hello to the phone and then it says hello to the um it shows back to the iWatch and once I click on OK and it's saying start so there is a hello so that means the watch is ready and it's getting started so it gives some instruction learn how to navigate so press this down to see your apps so that means if I press this it will show me like apps so that's something guidance as a start which is good and if I press again it will go back so and like it says site press button to open control so as there are different controls the site that is give us the controls and once i click again they will go back and then it says the turning the on this button and it gives different uh, views like you can see like all these options so yeah that's it like it says welcome to apple watch and now getting started this is turning on the location so we have to do the turn setting anyway because it will track your locations what you're doing everything so i turn it on and it will show all different features like you probably can explore individual ones but i turn it for all and that going to give the better results so but yeah due to privacy you can choose your own settings and that's really it it's very easy within 10 15 minutes we can complete the setup and if you do like the video don't forget to give a thumbs up if you have any questions please share in your in your comments and if you're new to this channel please subscribe and thanks for watching and stay connected so yeah i'll just exploring more in the watch and yeah thank you take care bye bye